Okay, so I'd like to show to you how to launch a study on Turk Prime, which is now called Cloud Research. On my dashboard page, I will see a set of studies that are either completed or currently live. I can select that up here. And in order to launch a study, I often just copy a current study that I've, uh, a study that I've run in the past. You can obviously do this um, by setting it up from the scratch as well. So I start with putting in the information about the total number of survey participants I want to collect. Up here, I ended up collecting 180 participants. I can also filter by different demographics variables. I usually don't do this, however, because it adds um, extra costs, but it can be nice um, to filter for this. On the next page, I enter the basic information. I put in the project name. Our convention is to put the project first, then the name of the study, and then which batch it is in case I'm collecting more than one batch of the same survey. For example, to have a um, small 10% batch to check whether my survey is correct, um, and then a larger set. I also put in the authors of the paper that um, of the paper and a date. Here, down here, I can put in email addresses. Um, this is in interesting because it will send you information on when the hit is completed, so you know that you can actually start looking at your data. In the describe hit section, this is the things that the MTurkers, the participants in the survey, will see on MTurk. Um, there's a title, a description, and also some instructions. We keep these instructions generally relatively broad because we don't want to introduce any selection effects. Um, we also say how long the survey will take and that it pays a certain amount of money. In general, we have a rule of thumb that participants should be paid around $8 an hour. So depending on the length of the survey, you should pay a fair amount of money. The next page is important in that you, again, specify how much money you will actually pay people, how long you anticipate the survey to take, the time allotted per assignment, which kind of gives MTurkers this amount of time to complete their hit, and also here the survey hyperlink. This link um, usually comes from Qualtrics, which is a platform in which we can program studies um, and then later also download our data. If I want to launch a survey at a different time, I can actually preset this here. Um, note that this is in UTC format, so you have to make sure that you specify the correct time. You can also automatically pay a workers bonus bonuses in case you already know that you will do that for all. On the next page, I select um, usually a custom completion code. Um, so workers actually have to, when submitting the code, uh, when submitting their <coughs> their completion, enter a custom completion code, which allows you to make sure that actually people get paid who really took the survey. Um, I usually select that I will automatically pay workers in a day. This way, I don't actually have to approve them. I can also filter out uh, participants. Um, in this case, I've filtered out everybody who has taken surveys in the past related to this project. Um, on the micro batch feature here, I uh, micro batch participants. Um, this usually reduces the fees, um, and as long as I don't have any requirement of launching multiple participants at the same time, um, it, it saves money and I would say it's good to do that. Make sure that it's a value of nine or less to save money. I also block duplicate IT, IP addresses and I verify the country and state location because we want to have participants from the US only um, and this kind of helps with that. Hyperbatch again um, helps save money um, and um, also makes um, it more possible to complete the faster. Um, and so I click that usually too. And then I can save and then in order to launch the study, I would hit on launch here. Since this is just um, a demonstration, I will hit archive.
So if my survey has completed, I next may want to approve the participants manually. It, to do so, I can look here at the manage pending tab of a survey and then hit select all for approve. I can filter the workers per page up here. On the dashboard, I can also choose to pay bonuses to participants. Um, and here I can do that with individual bonuses. Note that MTurk charges a 20% fee per bonus. Here I can enter the worker IDs, which are the MTurk IDs that, are, that I collect, and I select the amount here. If I want to grant a bonus to all workers when I hit, I can do this here. All right, that's all. I hope you've learned something. See ya.